What's up, guys? It's HD Boss, and man, it's been a while. So I could go into all the excuses, which I will. But um, the main reason why is just I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I've been lazy. Um, I've been lazy um, in making these videos. Um, there are some kind of excuses behind it too, um, but for the main reason, I was just lazy. I'm going to explain all of that when I talk about my progress and what I've been doing and how my life has been for the past, uh, like, couple, like, couple months. And, uh, yeah. So, basically, alright, so... So first, um, if you guys haven't watched the other videos, um, I will um, basically go through my body transformation. Uh, the first six months are, uh, um, so, okay, so I have videos for February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Uh, all the way up to November, so if you guys want to see any of that and know how it works, you can just go to my channel um, if you want to know how it works. But basically, for a brief description, I'm going to go through like the progress pictures that I uh, took this month. And uh, yeah, then... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go through the progress pictures that I took this month and compare them to last month. And, um, yeah, and I actually, f so, I took progress pictures in the middle of January, but then I, f I said that, oh, I'm gonna take some progress pictures at the end of January, um, I think I said that in my last video, um, but there are some reasons why I didn't, um, but main reason, I forgot for, like, 15 days, and I, I was like, oh, I'll just do it at the end of February, which I did, so. Let's get into it. Okay, so start off with this. So body transformation, first starting physique, um, first six months. Um, second six months, I have videos on all of this. Um, uh, then, okay. This is the current six months. So I have the first six months, second six months, and this is the current six months. So currently, I've been training for around, um, so t right now it's the middle of March, so almost, holy shit, wait. So I started training October 17th, 2021. So it's been a year and five months? No, what the f uh, okay, this is the first time I'm like actually fig figuring it out, like how long I've been training. Jesus, like a year and five months, really? Like that's crazy. Like act like. <sighs> so a year and five months. That's that's my progress to show for I guess, but. Um yeah, been training for a year and five months. Um uh, currently bulking, as you can see, but, yeah. So this, so first I'm going to go through my, my poses that I do, and then I'm going to talk about how the past, like, um, how, uh, December, um, how December, January, and February have been for me. I've kind of talked about January a little bit. Um, actually, I'm not sure. I, so, I, so, I made, so, I added these physique pictures for January. Um, but, basically, I'm not completely sure if, um, yeah, I haven't, so, okay, so, today, this physique video, I'm going over January and February improvements. So, to start off, 
Um, I think overall in the past couple of months, my arms have made the most progress, um, in my opinion. Um, my arms have made, mo uh, made the most progress and then also my legs. Um, you can't see them here, but you'll see it like later. Um, that and my um, traps, like my traps, I feel like have made a lot of improvements and yeah, I feel like that, those are the body parts that have made the most improvements. And yeah, and currently my strong body parts, I would say, I would say I have one strong body part, which is my back. And the rest kind of needs to get a lot better. But my, my back is like pretty good in my opinion. So this is relaxed, um, getting fairly like fatter, but also getting like decently bigger. And yeah. 152 in this picture right now i'm around 156 um so should be around um one probably 158 um for my next progress pictures at the end of this month okay front double bicep um the biggest change here i feel from november to now and through the months is my arms have gotten a lot bigger um, yeah, they've gotten slightly more fat on them too, but I think the difference between January and February uh, is pretty, pretty big. Like, my forearms have also gotten a lot, like, a lot bigger too. Um, maybe it's just how, like, it's kind of like, kind of like, like, in the first one it's like this, but in the second one it's like this. So that could be a reason, but... Um, so yeah, that, I feel like that has made the most progress and also my back, I'm just generally wider. I feel like even, even though my waist is larger, I'm just wider overall. Um, okay. Front lat spread. Um, this is one where it's good to be lean for, but, um, I'm definitely getting wider. I'm, I'm. I'm trying to fill in that gap that it makes between my shoulder and stuff and try to show my traps a little bit more, but we're getting there, we're getting there. My forms have made a big leap. Um, and yeah, I think my back, you can tell from November to now, is just a lot bigger, um, especially the right lat. So yeah, so that's the lat spread. Then this is most muscular. Um, I tried to pose it a little bit differently. Uh, I tried to mimic the posing that I did in November, but I don't think I did it super well. I think I'm just going to stick to what I did in January. So for this, I think my arms have made like some improvement. But overall, it's not my best pose right now since I'm not very lean. And the lighting that I take these photos in is not the best, especially for the for this month um i don't know why but yeah then um for this photo i think you can definitely tell i've gained some body fat um around my chest and my midsection especially um and even my face but yeah i got a haircut after that so it's not as long but i should have i feel like i should have cut the top more but we're fine so the legs have gotten bigger um, and the calves too, the calves have gotten a lot bigger. And then, yeah, the arms, the arms have like, I feel like the arms look a lot bigger. I'm kind of flexing it a little weird, but um, yeah, I feel like um, the arms are pretty good. Uh, for this one, I feel like, again, my arms have made a lot of improvement especially like the biceps for example um the biceps have made a lot of improvement since november and even from january too um my legs i don't know if i was posing it differently or if i'm not as lean um but i do think my legs are a bit bigger i wasn't flexing my calf as hard in this so it's kind of difficult to see but my calves have also gotten bigger i i'm pretty sure as for my chest I think it's gotten bigger, I th like I think, um, I've definitely gotten a lot stronger, but hopefully it's gotten bigger. 
Um, uh, but you can definitely tell a difference from November to now. So that's good. Um, for this pose, um, it's kind of in not as good lighting, but um, you can definitely tell I've gained a quite a bit of fat. Um, like for example, in November you could still see it, like some reds even. Um, but now you can't really see them that much, but my arms have gotten, um, much, much bigger. Um, uh, my shoulders have gotten a bit bigger. Um, and yeah, my traps, um, I feel like I've gotten bigger as well. Um, and my overall back has like made a good amount of improvement. Damn, this video is going to be long. So this is um, the back lat spread, again, same story. Um, as with this, you can tell my waist has gotten a bit wider. Um, but if you look between November and now, um, I think you can tell that I've made a lot of progress uh, with my legs. Um, uh, they're definitely not as lean, but especially if you look at my right leg then versus now, um, it, it's made a, a good amount of improvement. I think that's my right leg. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's my right leg. Um, same thing. Um, I don't think I'm bigger, I think. Now, I don't have any photos like this. I more normally take these when I'm lean. Um, but we'll just go to this one and narrate. Okay. So back in January, um, I should have gotten cut shorter. Okay, so back in um, January when I made that video, um, I was like, oh, I got this ankle thing in November. So let me explain um, after that. Okay, not in, no not in the January video. That was in the November video. I haven't made a video since. Okay, so... Um, so in December, actually, I got sick on Christmas. I got sick, like, on the 23rd, I think. Uh, I still went to the gym that day, but then on the 24th, 25th, 26th, like, around there, I just got a cold, um, but I lost, like, five, six pounds. It was so annoying. And every time you get sick and lose weight, it takes, like, for, at least for me, like, I'm not, like... I've noticed I'm not that good at gaining weight. Like, if I really, really try, I can. But, like, it, especially if I lose a lot of weight, it will take me a while to build that back up. Um, like, uh, yeah, I, I like, I, I swear, uh, I'll explain this later. But, like, yeah, I've just had some troubles trying to gain weight. Um, but, yeah, uh, so... Um, then, um, this isn't, so I have two things that happen in January, um, um, and two, and both of them kind of, um, hindered my training. Um, one of them was my fault, um, and then one of them was, uh, not my fault, but kind of, kind of my fault. So, um, the first thing that affected my training in January was from the start till the end of January, I got exertion headaches, exertion headaches, exertion headaches, exertion headaches. So if you don't know what an exertion headache is, basically it's a headache that you get in the middle of training. So basically you'll be training, right? And on, on like the, like on a rep, like, like on a rep or something, you like, you'll get it up like this and you'll be halfway through the rep and you'll be pushing, pushing, pushing super hard. Um, and then you'll feel this like snap in your head. Um, and it'll just pain, pain, like debilitating, like kind of like pretty much debilitating. Like one time I got it on a leg day and I had to like take off my headphones. That was because I was listening to music and I had to take off my headphones because I was like, oh, like. They're just really bad. If you if you've had them, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I got them every session, and I didn't know what to do, so I tried. Um, and the other reason why, the other thing that hindered my training had like 
I, I figured out kind of like made it worse, but basically I tried getting more water, blah, 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 doing all this, getting more sleep. Um, and it, they never really went away. They would get not as bad. Um, and so what I did, I had to, uh, take around a week off. Um, not a week, but like, I took like three, four days off at the end of January, I think. Um, kind of towards the end of January, third week, somewhere around there. Um, and I, uh, I really, I really didn't like that. Um, but, yeah. So that kind of made all my sessions that month a little bit, like, less optimal because I would get these headaches on my first set, especially on a push day. I would get it on my first set of incline double benching. Just so annoying. But um, the other thing is a good, a very, 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 very good thing, but also um, because, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it. So basically, I got a uh, girlfriend. Um, so I got a girlfriend, and um, we're, like, pretty close. And so in January, um, when I, like, um, was talking, like, I still, of course, talk to her every day and stuff, a lot and stuff, but back in January, like, I just didn't know how to, like, control myself, I guess, like, I would talk to her, like, if I were on a call with her, like, I would wait till she was tired to go to sleep, and sometimes that would be 2, 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m., blah, 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 like, and I have to get up for school at 8, so I'd get, I'd be getting, like, 5 hours, 4 hours of sleep some nights. And that, of course, is not optimal at all. And um, also, I missed out on a shit ton of homework because I was just not, not doing my homework, calling her every day. Um, which, of course, made our relationship better, but um, I kind of had to change some things. Um, but it kind of made the exertion headaches worse, like I said. Less sleep, um, more dehydrated, not as good training. Um, and yeah. Um, but since then, I've learned how to manage my relationship with her, and so now I go to sleep at a fairly normal time. Um, like, I go to sleep around, like, 12, 12.30, 12.30, like, 1 o'clock max, so I get at least 7 hours of sleep every night, which is decent, um, especially for a high schooler, um, in my opinion, but, uh, <laughs> but that's not good, but. Uh, so, so yeah, um, then comes February. So in February, uh, first I got sick. So I got sick again with the cold, um, that put me out for like a couple days. And then I lost like seven pounds, like six, six pounds, somewhere around there. So like, I lost six pounds and I was like, not this shit again. And, and then I was like, so I figured out that I, I, so that hindered my training. And then three days after my first, at, like, oh my God. After my first three sessions back in the gym, me and my family go, uh, go on a trip. I'm um, going on a vacation in the middle of the school year too. So we go to Iceland. It was a, it was a really, really nice trip. I really, like, I really, really actually enjoyed it. Um, but the problem was no gym. So no gym for, like, another five days. So I missed out on, like, ten days of the gym during February. Um, and so it really, like, I don't know. I feel like I could have made more progress. Um, ten days is a lot to miss. Um, but, yeah. So then, um, uh. Uh, yes, and then all that makeup work, like, I had to stay up late doing that, like, stress, stress impacts everything in our life, blah, 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 and so, just not the most optimal, but it was fine, I really enjoyed it, I think it was kind of worth it, um, and so I got back on the 22nd, and since then, I've been training pretty optimally, getting at least seven hours of sleep a night, um, I haven't gotten sick or anything, um, I don't want to jinx it since my family is kind of sick right now. So if I get sick, I'm literally going to freak out. But, um, yeah, so those weren't really excuses. But, like, 
like I remember my weight being 152 at the beginning of February. Like near the beginning of February, in the middle of February, it being 152. And I've only gained, that means I've only gained, um, like, like that means I didn't really gain any weight in February or, or max like two pounds. Um, but yeah, like I didn't really gain a lot of weight, like, but yeah, so far this year has had its struggles, but so far, um, like I'm a lot, like I'm a lot happier. Um, now that I'm in a relationship, um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm a lot happier. It does influence my training. Like it, it helps me train harder too. Um, and like, well, not harder, but like it gives me more motivation. Well, <laughs> not even more motivation, but I don't know. It just makes me happier, less stress, um, less like being mad or sad, um, which are also optimal for the gym, but especially being sad, but, but yeah, now I'm doing pretty good, um, and yeah, that's how it's been, um, like, of course, all my lifts has gone up, um, I'm still specializing in forearms, um, and yeah, damn, it's been a long-ass video, but that's how my life has been so far. I'm gonna quickly go to my gym logbook and recap my last six couple of sessions, um, and see if, and say if there's like anything to note. So, let's see. So, um, so, um, this was on what Saturday. So Saturday, so what I do for a push day, incline dumbbell bench with 45s. I've been trying to get my form really, really good. Very, like, like this slow on the way down. Like, like okay, not that slow, but like, like, like that, that good form. So I'm going to try and do that and get it up to 11 or 12 reps. Then 50s. And I'm so, I'm so, I could move up to 50s now, but. Um, I just really want to get to 11 reps with 45s with perfect form and then I'm going to move up to the 50s and just see how many fucking like oh, I don't know if I can adjust but it's fine I'm not making like, any money off these videos um, but I just want to see how many like damn reps I can get with them then the dip machine I have a dip machine at my gym um, that I've really loved like, I progress on it every single time. Like, I love it. Um, I'm feeling really strong in it, on it. And guess what they did? They removed the, they removed the machine. All the machines that I've been liking, like, they, re they, re they removed the machine. And, like, there's this one chest machine that they removed. And now, now they're removing this. And it's just, like, what, what are they going to remove next? Like, um... And then I do a machine sternal press, which is kind of like this, um, like kind of like this. And then cable shoulder press with thirty pounds. Um, trying to build that anterior delt. Cross body tried some push downs, getting really good at the form with that. Um, my grip is somewhat limiting me, so I don't know how I'm gonna fix that, but right now it's fine. Overhead extensions, optimizing form of that. Cable ladder raises, I'm going to try and get up to um, 13 reps on my left arm for my first set. And then I'm going to move up to 15 pounds. And this is on a cable, so it's kind of, it's a little harder than normal ladder raises. Then, standing, blah, 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 and that. I usually never have time at the end for wrist curls, but whenever I do, I pop them on there. Um, just one set with a drop set of like dumbo wrist curls. So I'll like I'll drag with the 55s or the 60s and then I'll do set behind the back barbell curls um, With my wrists and then I'll pick up the dumbbells and curl them and then at the end I'll do a static hold uh, We're at the very we're there at the very end of my fingertips and your forearms after it like on fire so then for my leg session, Shannon calf raise, 
Savage squat press, I'm getting pretty strong at that. I want to hit four plates by the summer. I actually just made that goal in my mind now, but four plates on that machine would be pretty cool. Um, hit thrust machine. I need to find a way to fail safely on the machine. I just get so nervous for it because it's just a lot of weight. Um, blah, blah, blah. Sit a leg curl. That's going fine. Adductor. That's going fine. Pull. Play with loaded row. Every, everything about this is pretty self-explanatory on the proven law. I just put pretty sure curls back in because I saw the most growth with that during the summer. So pushing back in getting back in and then all of this is basically the same except the one change is a panada machine which is basically the same machine just a different machine i'm gonna have to find a substitute for the dead machine then for legs um a seated calf raise this time um then sldls with 335 then a cypex hack squat if you've ever like used a cypex mach 1 ha hack squat they're uh they they like weigh a lot a lot more than other hack squats. Um, and then quad extensions, leg curls, adductor, ab machine. Be self explanatory. Then a stood back, you need lumbar lat row, which is where you kind of go like that on a ha hammer swing throw machine. That, then, then a lying row, then a standing lat row for the thoracic, rear delt cable flies, incline curls, hammer curls. Uh, ladder raises and wrist curls, but yeah, that um is what I do in the gym and uh how it's been. Um, long ass video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to I'm not gonna promise this time because we all know what happens when I promise. Um, I promised last time to make a video in January, which I didn't. Um, but. Uh, well, I made that video in January, but I promised to make another video at the end of January, which I didn't. Um, and the reason I didn't make videos before is that I just kind of felt subconscious, when self-conscious about my progress. That's another reason, like, I didn't, I really didn't think my progress was good at all. It felt like my body hadn't changed because I kept getting sick and stuff, blah, 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 all these things. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um i will try my best to make a video at the end of this month or close or, or close to the start of april um but yeah i will see you guys uh next time peace